We've already been at the table for nearly two years, and these workers can't wait any longer. That's why we're setting a clock on this round of bargaining. In Canada, the possibility of a strike by the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA workers, is causing concern for small businesses. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business, CFIB, has called for an extension of the tax deadline and urged the agency and the Public Service Alliance of Canada Union of Taxation Employees to quickly reach an agreement. The CFIB estimates that the union's demand of a 33% pay raise over three years for CRA employees could cost Canadians close to $1 billion in taxes. The CRA has said it has no plans to delay the May 1st tax deadline, even if workers go on strike. If a strike were to occur, the CRA has warned that some services may be affected, particularly those involving paper filings. However, it has assured Canadians that they can still file their taxes electronically. As of Friday, over 35,000 agency workers were in a legal position to strike, in addition to the 122,000 other Public Service Alliance of Canada federal workers who entered a strike position on April 12th. The federal government and the unions are in disagreement over wages, remote work, and contracts. If CRA workers and other federal public servants were to strike, the impact on small businesses could be massive. CFIB, which is Canada's biggest association of small and medium-sized businesses with over 97,000 members, is calling on both sides to come to a quick resolution that is cost-effective for taxpayers. CFIB is also asking the CRA to maintain full service to small businesses, ensure clear communication of small business owners' responsibilities in the context of a strike, and consider back-to-work legislation if negotiations fail. As negotiations continue between PCAC and CRA, the situation remains uncertain. The timing of the potential strike could create uncertainty for small businesses in the middle of tax season, and Canadians will have to wait and see whether an agreement can be reached before the May 1st deadline. If there is no deal reached by 9 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, April 18th, I am authorizing a national general strike beginning at 12.01 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, April 19th, for all 155,000 PSAC members working for both the Canada Revenue Agency and Treasury Board.